Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs, the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. If that's something that you're interested in, please stick around. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm not gonna be showing you any particular design, but I am gonna be going over some of my favorite fonts with you and how I go about searching for them. So as you may know, Canva has thousands upon thousands of fonts and if you don't know how to search properly you might be scrolling forever to try to find the the, uh, the font that you want so i have compacted lists of different fonts that are my favorite to use in different ca categories and then how i go about searching for those categories so i've gone ahead and made a list right here so my very first list will include fonts that are grunge textured rough I include fonts that are wide, fonts that are narrow, script fonts, handwriting fonts, different types of display fonts, uh, vintage fonts, rounded fonts, kids fonts or fun fonts, and then sci-fi, techno, future fonts. So those are the categories that I most often use and the ones that I would most often search for. Now again, if I am trying to pick a font, let's say I have just my fonts up here, if I come up to where it says where the fonts are located, I can go ahead and try searching for any particular category up here. So I'm gonna go through each of these categories and I'm gonna show you how I would go about searching for them. So first one, really easy, if I was to do a grunge, oh, a grunge font. So I can do uh, the search right here. It also gives you suggestions. So it'll say rough, distorted, distressed, Texture or textured is another one that you could try searching for and it's going to give you all of the results um, That fall into that category and again even within each category there are Lots and lots and lots of fonts that you can be scrolling through so I'm going to show you my um, My list of all of my favorites for each of these categories, but I'm just going to go ahead and go through the categories first so that was my grunge category now, if I was looking for a wide font, I can just type in wide. And so you can see there are different wide fonts that will come up. And again, there are literally hundreds to choose from in terms of wide fonts. So you will again be scrolling for a long time. So it helps to know which ones you like ahead of time. If you know the names of the fonts that you like, that's even better because then you can just search for a font by name and it'll save you a lot of time scrolling. You can also search for narrow fonts. So if I put in narrow or tall also works, I can come up with a lot of different narrow fonts. Some of these are so narrow that I wouldn't necessarily even be able to read them, you can see. so. I like narrow fonts. If, if I'm trying to fill a space, just make sure that it is easy to read because you still want all of the fonts that you choose still have to be easily readable. Um, next category I might go with would be something like script. I could do script. It'll also say cursive as a suggestion. So that's another one you could go with. And there are a ton of different uh, script fonts. Just a note when it comes to script or cursive, some of these can become very difficult to read. So again, you're gonna wanna choose ones that are easily readable. Also, and this is another big point, when it comes to cursive, you'll want it to be in lowercase or have uh, you know an uppercase first letter, but then lowercase all the rest. Obviously, if you were to try to make this all in uppercase, it would look really funny. So for example, I have fonts selected right here. It's all uppercase. If I was to go ahead and do it in cursive, that's not cursive, there we go. So that looks kind of funky. And so that's what it would look like if it was all in uppercase. But if you go ahead and switch it to lowercase, which if I come over here and I click the more button, there's a big and little a, if I hit this, it's going to make it lowercase. And now if I select different fonts, it looks a lot better in cursive. So that is the difference between um, uppercase and lowercase when it comes to cursive. And again, you want to make sure that it is easily readable. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back on that, get my original font back. So you can always just push the back button as many times as you need to to get back to where you were. Um, so next, I was going to search for handwriting. So if I come up here, I can do handwriting. 
So it'll say handwriting, handwritten, any of those are good. And some of these are gonna be cursive again or script again. And then some of them are just going to be more of uh, just an easy handwriting look, like somebody picked up a pen or a pencil and just sort of wrote it or as though they painted it or drew it. So these are all kind of handwriting ones. Handwriting also works really well for children's designs, um, but there's a lot more to children's designs and I'll show you later. But that is how you might search for handwriting texts or fonts. Uh, display is another cool one. So if you search for display, it's gonna give you all the kind of weird looking fonts or fonts that have a little bit of a flair to it. Um, so you can play through here and this is where you're gonna find some of the interesting looking ones, the weirdly shaped ones. Um, so anything that, you know, is cool design, you're gonna find if you search for display, okay? Vintage is another popular font, so vintage. Vintage is used quite often, especially when it comes to designs that would incorporate years or things like, you know, born in 1982, born in 1972. Those are going to incorporate a lot of different vintage style fonts. And of course, with vintage fonts, you can use a vintage font. You also wanna try using some vintage colors to really pull off that look. So depending on what decade you're going with, um, trying to come up with appropriate colors for that decade um, can really make a design. Um, next would be rounded. Now I might use rounded text if I had a design where I had a lot of graphics um, that had a round feel to it. If I had circular graphics and I wanted the text to really go with the design, I might pick a rounded um, Font. I might also use that for children's designs. Again, children's designs use a lot of more rounded fonts, and so that's how I would look up that. Speaking of kids, I'm gonna show you, if you search for kids' designs, suggestion also comes up for fun. So fun designs, kids' designs, you can scroll through, and there's a lot of really cool, you know, kids' designs. Some of them look kind of silly, but that's the whole point of a kid's design. But again, just make sure it's easy to read. So with all of these, make sure that it is readable. And then the last one I wanted to show you was just sort of sci-fi. And sci-fi, it'll also say futuristic. It'll also say techno. So those are also words that you can search for. But if I just search sci-fi or futuristic, well, that one was futuristic, but you can see it's going to come up with just a lot of cool designs. So I might use these if I was doing more of like a space design, um, anything where I wanted that cool kind of um, uh, techno sort of look to it. Also, if I was doing any kind of like video game type design, you can use futuristic as well, because some of these will have things like video games, um, some pixelated stuff. And you can also search pixelated too. So if I put pixelated texts, I can search pixelated and I can come up with different ones that would work very well for video game type um, designs. And as we all know, video games are pretty popular. <laughs> so those are the main categories that I like to use for my designs. And so those are the most popular ones that I tend to search through. I've gone ahead and made lists for you guys of my favorite fonts within each of these characters, uh, or sorry, within each of these categories. So. If you wanna start taking screenshots or write down a list, um, I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. So starting with my grunge, textured, rough, these are the ones that I like to use the most. Um, I do have a caveat here. These are all texts that I used that were available specifically through Canva. I do use other texts that I can get from outside sources and upload into Canva. So for example, if you go to Creative Fabrica, you don't need to pay anything. You don't need to sign up for a membership or anything like that. They offer a lot of freebies. So if you just go to Creative Fabrica and you look for free fonts, there are a ton of free fonts and they can um, change day to day too. And so if you find ones that you see that look really cool that you might like, I go ahead and download them and then I can upload them to Canva and use them on designs that way as well. So it's always nice to have a large collection of fonts for different types of designs. 
So again, these are my favorite grunge, rough, textured go-to fonts. If I come down here, this is the list of my favorite wide fonts, obviously wide being number one. So if you're looking for something to you know, scroll across a page, these are some of the best wide fonts that I have found. As I scroll down to the narrow and tall fonts, these are the ones that I like the most for anything narrow. So some of these are gonna be a little bit more bold, some of them are gonna be a little bit more thin, um, but they're all gonna be kind of really narrow. Now again, you can also make anything more narrow or less narrow by changing the spacing in between uh, each of the letters. So if I was to go to just the very first one and I came up here, I can click spacing and I can change the letter spacing so I can make it even tighter and even more narrow. So if I did something like that, now it's even more narrow. Or I can change the spacing to make them wider. So if I wanted it to space out like that, I can make it wider. So you can always play with, um, with your texts in terms of the spacing too to make something more narrow or more wide. Um, these are my favorite script or cursive um, fonts. I picked these because they all give a good flair in terms of script or cursive, but they're all also very easy to read. So again, sometimes with these script fonts, it can become difficult to read some of them. These are all ones that I found uh, read well. And again, they're all going to be lowercase except for the first letter. <laughs> That's gonna make a big difference here. When it comes to handwriting, this is a list of my favorite handwriting fonts. So some of them will again include cursive because cursive can be handwritten, but um, there's gonna just be a lot of just print as well. So these are my favorite handwriting fonts. Next category is the display fonts and display fonts can change quite a bit depending on what type of design that you're making but some of these are just some really fun looking weird fonts that you might use for a particular design up here i really like this flying circus one it definitely looks like it would make a cool circus design so whether you were doing something for children or whether you were doing more of an adult design like welcome to the shit show um flying circus is this kind of a really cool looking one that i like um, moving down, you've got your vintage ones. Now some of these are some cool script vintage that you might use for like a 70s style design. Others are going to be more of that old fashioned Hollywood look or old fashioned Hollywood look or some of the old fashioned just kind of um, line style designs. So vintage is another one that's very popular in a lot of different designs that you might find yourself using. Rounded. These are some of my favorite uh, rounded fonts. Um, again, I would use these if my design had rounded um, elements in it or rounded a feel to it, or if I was using it in a child's design where I wanted a nice rounded edge. And these are my favorite kids fonts. So you can see a lot of these can be really playful. Uh, I really like this uh, double bass one. It was really great for some kids' designs. If you were doing more of like a superhero type design, I like this. Adama Bold is really cool. So these are some of my really fun kids type designs um, or kid type fonts. These are my favorite go-tos. And then lastly, this is a list of my favorite sci-fi or tech fonts. So these are my go-tos when it comes to that. Again, it has to be easy to read. The glitch one here is really fun. It's a little less easy to read, but it's still, if you're going for that look, is it really comes across well as sci-fi tech. So that is a complete list of all of my favorite fonts on Canva that I like to use in my print-on-demand designing. Um, so again, it might help you to create lists of some of your favorite fonts. That way, if you're ever searching for a font, if you know it by name, then it's really easy to just go ahead and search for it by name. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful. And um, if you liked what you saw and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. As always, keep growing and stay creative. And we'll see you next time.